Arachnia is a small planktonic crustacean that belongs to the subclass of Filiopoda. It inhabits a variety of freshwater environments ranging from acidic swamps to rivers. These spiny water fleas can have a huge impact on aquatic life in lakes and ponds due to their rapid reproduction rates. Dapnia is one of the best food for the fry of fish. Ornamental fish breeders from all parts of the world have become successful in their fish farming by giving these tiny fleas as first food to their fry. These tiny creatures have changed the lives of many people. I have in close contact with successful breeders in my community who for how many years have earned a living out of breeding ornamental fish. All of them testified that giving dapnia as first food to their fingerlings are really great. There is no other good substitute for dapnia as the first food of goldfish fry, koi, angelfish, Betas, Mollies, Oscars, and Discos Fry. Today's video I'm gonna show you my own personal technique and method on how to culture these tiny living creatures. I already have tried in the past culturing this dapnia, but it was not successful. I tried culturing them inside the aquarium and feeding them with yeast, but it did not last long. They all died. This method of culturing dapnia all starts by making a natural habitat for the dapnia. And this natural habitat can only be achieved if we are going to make a shallow and wide tank. This shallow and wide tank can be made just out of wood and tarp. And we are going to expose this to the sun. The next step that we are going to do after we have prepared this uh, shallow tank for our dapnia is to gather the animal waste. Well, we have so many options. We can use the poultry manure, we can use the cow dung, and this horse manure in order for us to have a culture of this plankton and this algae. This plankton and this algae are the food for our dapnia. Administration of cow dung on dapnia culture pans has brought out several admirable results from the past until today. The proper levels of administration gives a significant success on the dapnia culture systems along with the growth and multiplication of the phytoplanktons. After I gather this cow dung, I chop this to become powder. Powderized dried cow dung can be easily soaked with water. My goal in putting this chopped cow dung is to produce green water, plankton, and algae. Plankton is a microalgae and will require sunlight in order to live and grow. After I prepare the tank, I put a shallow water on it and then I put the cow dung to be soaked with water. I patiently press the cow dung with my bare hands to get them wet. My goal in doing this is to let this dung settle at the bottom of the tank. With the exposure to sunlight, this cow dung will rapidly produce algae and planktons that will become now the main source of food for this dapnia. We will leave this for three days.
This is the third day of our tank preparation and as you can see, the water became green. The cow dung has produced algae and presumably, this tank will now be the best for Dapnia culture. If you are an ornamental fish breeder, you always wanted to have fresh live food for your baby fry and they are very essential for your success as a breeder. Today we are all set to put our starter Dapnia. We expect to see more of them thriving in this breeding tank 3 days or 4 days from now. This Dapnia will become mature and capable of multiplying within a period of 5 to 8 days. So guys, there is much evidence to prove that this method of culturing Dapnia is really a very successful one. If you are going to follow this, I am sure that you will also become successful in making your own food for your fry. And today is the 8th day of our culture and we can see that this Dapnia now are really multiplying. And some of them have grown as an adult breeders and some are newly born babies and if you will see or look at this tank this is now being filled with tiny dapnias these crustaceans and you will see also that they are enjoying the sunlight you will see that they are grouping themselves and availing much of the benefit of the sunlight they can really get vitamins out of this and of course the algae and the plankton that we have produced out of this uh, animal manure are really became the source of their food. And if you will see, we will scoop this one here. We will scoop some of them and you will see that they are actually here. And this tiny living creatures now would ensure your success in your breeding. If you are breeding betta fish, if you are breeding Oscars, and even the catfish, you will really become successful if you have this Dapnia culture. So guys, I hope this method would help you. And if you are an ornamental fish breeder and you haven't tried this one, maybe you, you can give it a try and make your own for you to have sufficient live food for your fry. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you will continue to like and share our videos. If you are new to this channel, please subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you will be notified of our upcoming videos. We also have videos on our Facebook page and you can also follow us in Instagram. So thank you for watching only here at Dexter's World.